It's certainly been a while since we fed the zoo on camera. We feed it every single week, but today I am excited that we're gonna do a feeding the entire zoo video. Something I really love. We're gonna start with Night Fury. And of course, Night Fury is always, oh, he's always crazy, but he goes after this ball. Come on, this ball, come on. Follow me, follow me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, now we'll give him this. Oh yeah, I tell you what. Feels good to be back feeding again, isn't it? It's absolutely incredible. And of course, Night Fury is amazing, but we're feeding everything here today at the zoo. Looks like my buddy Al knows that it's food time. And what happens a lot of times when you're feeding rodents, and I talk about this, if you want to really get your snakes to eat, if you actually let them sit in the room for a while, it's kind of scenting the room. And then they all get that scent and going like, give me some food. And Al, yeah, he, uh, he wants to eat. So let's go ahead and open this door very cautiously. Whoo, look at him. I don't know how to do this. I don't know what I'm gonna do here, guys. What, what, Al? Oh, whoo, I tell you what, that is, uh, that's a, even got my heart going a little bit. When you're at its face with a food item, holy cow, I tell you what, uh, Al was ready to eat. There's no doubt about that. Looks like El Toro, the bull snake, is definitely ready to eat today. Come on, buddy. There he goes. He is such a good animal. I love this snake so much. Bull snakes are definitely very underrated because they are awesome. Next up is my big girl cupcake, the giant boa constrictor. Let's see if she wants to eat. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on, sweetie. There you go. Oh! I tell you what, she is a good girl. I love that animal. What a absolute ripper. I don't know if you guys remember the other day when we had actually a normal ball python that was bred to what we call the mystery ball python. Uh, the normal was a complete normal. The mystery was like a banana, a pinstripe, a bunch of other things that were really cool. Well, then we had a really bizarre animal in the egg when we cut it. And I was like, what in the world? This makes no sense. Well, it crawled out of the egg today and it's actually a caramel albino. That's right, it's a caramel albino, which is a recessive mutation, meaning that both the male that wasn't supposed to be het and the female that was supposed to be just a normal actually were both het for caramel albino. How weird is that? Absolutely cute baby. There was only two eggs in this clutch. One egg went bad and the one egg that hatched was a complete surprise of caramel albino. I mean that is absolutely wild. That's what I love about breeding reptiles. You really never know what's going to potentially happen. Every egg that hatches could be a surprise and this one certainly was a big surprise. I'm going to feed the tortoises. Let's get the cut. Looks like my girl Perdita is just sitting here waiting. Hey girl, you wanna eat a food? Here you go. Ah, look at how absolutely gorgeous that is. I mean, what an absolutely incredible animal. Now, the cow reticulated pythons typically stay a little bit smaller than say the mainland reticulated pythons. The head ghost stripe or ghost stripe and the phantom are typically a little bit smaller retics from like insular islands. And they just don't seem to get much bigger than maybe 12 to 13 foot, maybe a big one being 14 foot. I've mentioned before that Moo Moo has actually got a little bit more mainland in her, so she's probably gonna get a little bit bigger, but nevertheless, Absolutely incredible animals. Oh, and by the way, welcome to the vlog, Reptile Army. Hope the start of your day is absolutely amazing. And speaking of Reptile Army, you can go to reptilearmy.com, join the army, join the movement, and help educate the public on reptiles. We really do appreciate you, reptilearmy.com. Always love feeding my blackhead snap and pop. Let's go ahead and see if they want to eat today. Both their heads are close to one another, so I have to make sure I can get them apart a little bit. Come on, which one are you gonna come this way? Can't have you both that way. Come on. There we go. Now that they're separated a little bit, I can feed them. All right, there's one. Pull him way, way over here. Come on, Pop. Come on, bud. Come on. There it goes. Perfect. And now they're far enough away from one another where they can eat and they won't get into each other's way because again, if these guys finish eating, go over to the other rat, they could potentially try to eat the same rat and then eventually eat each other. So we'll definitely keep an eye on them as well. This is kind of interesting. Sunfire is just starting to go opaque. So I'll be honest with you, sometimes they eat and sometimes they don't. 
Looks like she is going to eat for us. Oh yeah, she's definitely gonna eat. And there's a really fine line where you don't wanna feed when they're totally in shed, because again, their skin is kind of stretched to the point where they're like ready for new skin, right, for growth. So sometimes when they really get deep into blue, even if they want to feed, you kind of don't wanna feed them, to be totally honest with you. But her, she's in the very cusp where she's just starting to go blue. So I think she's gonna have enough time to digest, no problems with the shed, it won't throw anything off. So, and it certainly looked like she was interested. Oftentimes snakes will tell you when they don't wanna eat, when they go cloudy and stuff like that. So uh, she got a good meal. She's looking beautiful. Let's go ahead and feed Jean the Woma Python. It is always a very, very interesting animal to feed, to say the least. Come on. Oh. So these guys have bite force like crazy. Blackheads and Woma Pythons are probably like the strongest bite force. Maybe second to like Kribos and Indigos. But I tell you, when you get nailed by these guys, they hang on when they think it's food. Break from feeding because we do have one clutch of ball pythons to pull, and it's a pretty exciting clutch of ball pythons. This is actually a super enchi orange dream. And you guys know I love the orange dream stuff, and she was bred to this stinger bee orange dream. So basically, what it is, it's a pastel, it's an enchi, it's a spider, and it's an orange dream. So down in the comments, let me know what you think that pairing is. Again, a stinger bee orange dream bred to a super enchi orange dream. I want to see if you guys are up on your genetics. Let's see how many eggs mama has. And speaking of how many eggs she has, last year she actually had six eggs, but it was bred to a different male. So this year we have so much more potential. I think last year the clutch wasn't that exciting, but this year it is really exciting. Again, six eggs last year. Let's see how many eggs she has this year. Unbelievable. Looks like she actually went backwards one egg this year, which happens. I mean, that's just kind of how it goes. Some years you see a huge jump in eggs. Some years you see the same eggs, and some years you'll see actually a slight decline in eggs. In this case, we ended up with five eggs, and again, some pretty cool combos. I can't wait to read your comments and see which one of you guys are up on your genetics. Whew. As time goes by, Jeffrey is fast becoming one of my favorite snakes. There's no doubt about it. Here you go, bud. Here you go. Dee, 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 dee. What are you doing? What are you doing, silly monkey? Come on. He normally wants to crush food. There he goes. <laughs> I tell you what. Snakes are so bizarre, just personalities, the way they do things, everything like that. But there's no doubt that he's just become such a fan favorite here at the Reptarium. It's not even funny. People come, they always love Jeffrey. Again, he's that sizable snake that is cool and impressive, but not so hard that you can't handle him. And just what a wonderfully beautiful animal he is. You can see Sunrise just shed out. Let's see if she's interested in taking. Want to take it, girl? Sometimes she doesn't like the smell of pig for some reason. Like I said, with a rabbit, she just crushes it. But with the pig, she's a little bit more finicky, to be totally honest with you. And after a fresh shed, she should be pretty hungry. What'll happen is basically, if she doesn't take it, which oftentimes she doesn't when it comes to pigs, I just lay it in there and she'll actually crawl right up to it and eat it within about 10 minutes or something like that. She's really interested in it. For whatever reason, she just doesn't like the smell of pigs and she often doesn't take them. So up oh, there she goes. That was a cute little thing. But like I said, she doesn't actually like them as much, but we just thought out pigs today. Rabbits probably next week. But again, as soon as she's done eating, I'll clean all this shed up. But a fresh shed definitely usually means a hungry snake. Mr. Nubbins, the Dominican mountain boa, is a cool snake and always really interested in feeding. There it goes. <laughs> definitely a little bit more of a gentle take that time for sure. Normally it comes charging out, but to be honest, it looks like it's starting to go just a little bit opaque, which probably just tells me that it's not quite as interested in food, but nevertheless, it's gonna get a good meal and uh, it'll shed out. And when it sheds, it is a beautiful snake. My girl Pickles here, she's looking like she's gonna wanna eat. Again, earlier this year, we thought we were gonna get eggs from Pickles, but unfortunately we didn't. So uh, now she's back on food and she's crushing it. There she goes, there she goes. Took a little enticing for her to eat. For whatever reason, she was a little bit finicky, but uh, we finally got her to go, and that is a ripper of an animal. Next up is Tiger Lily, the beautiful Brazilian rainbow boa. She's hiding under the rock, so I just have to entice her out a little bit. Oh, jeez! Oh, I didn't realize her head was there, and she ended up getting my hand. Oh my gosh, 
I'm starting to leak a little bit. That could have been really bad because that was a food bite and she just barely nicked my finger as she grabbed the rat over there. I thought her head was over on this side of the cage and it was right here. So as soon as I touched her, she just came out and grabbed my finger like that. That was a close call. I tell you what, that could have been bad because if she would have grabbed me, oh, she looks like she got both fingers actually. I take that back. So it looks like she just got a little bit of a nip on me. But if she would have grabbed me full on, it would have been a painful bite because Brazilian rainbow boas, believe it or not, have some really big teeth. And uh, all in all, I came away with just a couple little puncture wounds. Moving on to rat number two for my girl Cupcake. She crushed the first one, that's for sure. See if she wants another one. Want another one, girl? There she goes. Tell her that is one big boa. Last time I fed Daisy, I literally had to do a somersault out of the cage. Today she's right up front, she's definitely not sleeping, and she's ready to eat. So we'll go ahead and play a little bit more cautious. Whoa! Did I say cautious? Uh, yeah. She's been fired up lately. Who doggy? I tell you what, man, that girl is crazy, and I got a smudgy on my camera here. Okay, uh, whoo! Gonna have to be careful with her in the future. Maisie's out and about the corn snake, definitely ready to eat. Ah, there it goes. <laughs> what an awesome snake. I tell you, this is one of my favorite snakes to take out during the weekend when we're open. Cause you know, corn snakes are really great pets and he's just a great example. Been an educational animal since the day he was born. So he is absolutely amazing and he's super good with kids. Like I said, everything is fired up today. Everything wants to eat and snazzy is no difference. Come on, bud. Come on. You're okay. There he goes. Snaz is such a good animal. Of course, a normal, what they would call the wild type Burmese python. My friend Rhonda actually donated him to the zoo before we even opened up the first reptarium. So he's been here forever. People love me. Super, super tame, a great animal. And that wraps up the feeding for the day. I mean, how cool was it? It's been a while since we've done it. Probably two months since we've had a feeding video. I certainly enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you guys enjoy it. This is from Jessica in Connecticut. And guess what? I got a hatchet. <laughs> You guys always send me like, the coolest stuff. I feel like we just need some cheese. That's a good cheese. Oh, that is a good cheese. That's a charcuterie. It's a charcuterie. Charcuterie yes. thing. What do we got? What do we got? Too late. Oh, gosh, it's too late. I'm guessing it's breakable. Did it make it? It All looks right. like it made it. Oh, this is awesome. Oh my what God, this that? is cool. I think it's a stone that's painted with ivy on it. I thought it was a wallet at first. No, no. <laughs> Doesn't it doesn't look like a wallet. Oh, this is dope. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Isn't that cool? That is super cool. Oh my God, I love it. We have so many stones and yeah, rocks at the Reptarium. Nice so we'll definitely find a good spot for this at the Reptarium. And uh, my son and I have been watching your vlog for the past couple of years. You have taught us so much and we appreciate it so much. Thanks for being so positive and passionate. Uh, I'm turning 40 in April. Well, congratulations. I'm also going to celebrate by coming to the Reptarium. I sure hope you do. And thank you so much. Seriously, that is beautiful. Uh, very cool. Definitely going to find a cool spot for it at the Reptarium. When you come, you'll find it there. Hope you guys enjoyed today's feeding video. If you did, do me a favor. Right here is a playlist of me feeding a ton of snakes. On this side, can you please hit that subscription button? It sure would mean a lot to me. Have an absolutely wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.